you ever think about what might happen in the case of an emergency? Yeah, there's actually a special group of volunteers ready to race to your rescue. News 4's Mark Santia has more. On a lazy weekend in the city, hours before brunch is served, Central Park is wide awake. And this team is already answering a call for help. This is the Central Park Medical Unit, a group of volunteer EMTs as diverse and vibrant as the park itself. We have people that are attorneys, people that have acted on Broadway, stay-at-home moms and dads. 150 different volunteers, all with one mission. There's a tremendous amount of good that we can do for people when we respond to them on their worst day. While every day begins the same, uh, roll gauze, sorted, check. Going through the checklist is the only constant on this beat. Play the lane for an ambulance doctor. From rescuing a man who fell from Belvedere Castle to treating a squirrel bite to saving a park goer in cardiac arrest. It really is an incredible feeling to be the one that was there to make a difference. Gary Resnick, Joel Rowe, Chris Marcon, and the others have seen it all here in what they affectionately call the center of the universe. This unit has survived since 1975 just on the generosity of others. The biggest challenge, geography. Miles of jagged rocks, winding roads, and hidden crevices, not to mention 35 million visitors a year. In 1975, if there was an injury or an accident here in the park, the average response time was 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Now, thanks to the Central Park Medical Unit, the average response time is three minutes. The impressive speed, park training, and park gear. Each ambulance for the Central Park Medical Unit is custom made, allowing it the ability to go through the tunnels and pass under the bridges here in the park. We were never intended to be a replacement for, you know, the 911 ambulance services. It's, a, it's always intended to be uh, a supplement. And while this team's passion is helping others, they are proudest of their pledge. Since the unit was established, we have not charged one patient for medical services. No one on the Central Park Medical Unit draws a salary. And even though there are no lazy weekends, this is a labor of love. I don't think of it as going a day without pay. I feel... Uh, like I get a good opportunity to give back to the community. In Central Park, Mark Santia, News 4 New York. Makes a lot of park goers feel a little easier yeah, when they go to the park. Yeah, they're out there, right? Yeah. Coming up next here on News 4.